We also received a, a um, statement that the um, Oregon Department of Transportation asked me to sign. It's important to recognize that one of the reasons that this project took so long was because there were so many um, agencies and individuals that owned property along this route. Permission, um, surveys, doing uh, archaeologic um, investigations, making certain that as the trail was developed um, that we did not uh, disturb either um, areas of historic significance or areas um, where we had a sensitive uh, native um, plant and animal species that needed to be cared for. So it is as in any um, uh, complex endeavor uh, for the public good, it often takes a long time, but it is through significant patience, diligence, and an acknowledgement by all involved that the, the vision is not um, is not to be lost. And it was through the dedication of um, people um, like Phyllis Steves, um, Lloyd Collette, uh, John Murray, who assists with the uh, coastal trail uh, for Oregon State Parks, um, and numerous others who made sure that the ball was never dropped, that no matter what the obstacle was that lay before us, that there was patience and diligence in ensuring that we found a peaceful and amicable way around it. Um, and that is true of any worthy public endeavor it always requires a champion and it always requires um, patience and diligence. It is with that in mind that um, it was quite um, uh, interesting to receive the following statement from the Oregon Department of Transportation. The Oregon Department of Transportation is honored to join our partners in celebrating this day. We came together to share a common mission to create a path for the future that can be traveled by all and to honor a path of the past that was filled with the tragedy suffered by a great community. We cannot undo what has been done, but we can make sure it is never forgotten and never repeated. We have accomplished by creating a unity that is stronger than our individuality. The Oregon Department of Transportation hopes this bond is everlasting and we look forward to working with our partners on future projects. Thank you for allowing us to play a role in the success of Amanda's Trail. I don't know about you, from, but I was expecting something that sounded bureaucratic and I think <laughs> I was a bit surprised and, and touched when um, I received that statement from them yesterday. Um, certainly we need to recognize uh, the role of Oregon State Parks uh, in this endeavor. By any chance is Rocky Houston here? Rocky, you are here. I'd like to introduce Rocky Houston. He is the statewide uh, uh, trails manager um, for Oregon State Parks. They were the ones that provided uh, the funding um, that enabled us to do the final link um, to the Amanda Trail. So Rocky, if you'll come up. Well, hopefully we'll get the bureaucracy out of the way now. <coughs> Wrong pocket. So uh, again, uh, thank you on behalf of uh, the department. Uh, really, this is what we like to see, a great turnout in a small community, and really citizens like yourselves who, who make these things happen. Without your support, your effort to apply for the grant, to actually do the work, and continue to make sure it remains open, the whole 382 miles of the Oregon Coast Trail would not be here today and it won't be here tomorrow. So I uh, hopefully we can just have you guys move along the coast to those other gaps and uh, we'll have a lot more of these celebrations. Thank you.
also want to acknowledge the role that View the Future played in this endeavor. Um, View the Future created a trails committee and through the good work um, of their trails um, committee, they uh, were very instrumental in uh, pulling all of this together and keeping the, the uh, concept of the trail and the link alive. Um, Yahat City Council members and the former uh, mayor, Suzanne Smith, also uh, played a vital role in um, moving this project forward and clearing some of the hurdles um, that allowed us um, to come here today. Helping with the trail construction itself was the Angel Job Corps, Lincoln Land Agency, the, excuse me, Lincoln Land Legacy Program, the Northwest Youth Corps, and the Oregon and uh, Youth and Conservation Corps. Um, and I also want to spe say special thanks to uh, Jim Bowers, George Capage, Frank Hayes. Frank, are, where are you? I saw you. Frank is way in the back there. Frank is our trails uh, contractor. And um, he's the fellow that was given the charge of putting in this last section of trail. Um, I would understood, I don't know if I misunderstood or not, but I would understood that this was, oh, it's going to just take a couple of weeks to get this done. So I went ahead and scheduled the dedication thinking, oh, it'll be done in a couple of weeks. Well, things don't always move the, like quite like that. Um, and as of Thursday of this week, um, when Joanne Cattell and Ron Breen and I met with a reporter from um, uh, from the Eugene uh, paper, we literally were walking through um, something that was akin to a deer trail in many areas. And uh, it is through quite a miracle, I think, that in the last 48 hours, literally, um, both Frank and a lot of uh, very stalwart, dedicated Yahatians um, have created what is now a bona fide trail. Um, so you do not have to duck, um, you do not have to uh, get tripped by endless um, snags, and, uh, and it was very exciting to see this actually materialize in, in 48 hours. So thank you so much to Frank and to all of the volunteers who showed up to help carry rock and uh, literally um, uh, cut their way through uh, dense shrubbery. Um, and of course, this dedication would not be complete without acknowledging um, the passion, the commitment, and the smarts, and the graciousness of Joanne Cattell. Um,